There are a lot of secrets in Pet Simulator 99. Yes, I do have Max Titanics equipped. I'll get into that a little later. Everyone's wondering about this Preston shop right here. This is located in the Safari area, number 35. And you just enter into this place right here, this little cave. And here's Preston shop. Once you go up to and press E, it says Preston shop. What's the super secret code? I tweeted an image of this saying, bro, what's the password the second the game released? I mean, pretty close. It was 1.19 p.m. December 1st on release day, and everyone was replying their different ideas, saying it's I like money, money, 99, password or press in new game or big games, build into money. Yeah, clearly a lot of people think this is still very pay to win, but let's try I like money. And then when you enter in a code, it says, nope, try again, saying that the code was incorrect. People literally created a forum post about the secret code, and this guy right here claims that he actually redeemed this code. And this is how apparently it looks like once you redeem the code, it just says redeemed. He actually didn't share the code. He said only sharing it with one other person. It's actually fairly simple. And then it said a riddle. In the riddle, he said, in the realm beneath the waves, blue and vast, a secret code hidden from the past, four digits you must find. If this this guy isn't lying we do know it's four digits clear and bold on a coral undersea a story untold so that's the beginning of the riddle telling us it's somewhere underwater and just keep this in mind while you guys are watching this video this is still a myth no one really confirmed this i am just busting this myth to see if it's true or false as you guys see i literally sent him a friend request and told him yo and you know what i'll even ping him so maybe i could get a reply anyway that's the beginning of the riddle next he says first gaze at the diver's led lights which this is pretty much saying the first digit of the code count the beams that cut through the lights bright and clear under the sea that's your first number easy to see and the second one says find the underwater drone roaming where the fish and corals have grown which i'm guessing is atlantis how many propellers keep it afloat this number you'll need please take note so that's two numbers already third on a digital camera used for the sea count the buttons how many there be this gadget captures the underwater scenes the number you seek it just count the means and finally on the core of modern and sleek a tag placed by researchers unique the last digit in its serial code find and decipher its numeric load so clearly it's four digits of numbers apparently from what this person is saying combine these clues a code you'll reveal unlocking secrets the ocean does conceal a digital era's hidden key in corals beneath the deep blue sea so that's what he said and to find the first part of this code we need to find the divers led lights i mean the first thing i thought about was it obviously has to be somewhere where there's water which is around over here in the coral reef and the beach area so here's a beach area and here's where we go underwater so i'm sure some diver is surely underwater and we gotta find his led lights and i mean i should be able to find him somewhere here is my guess I'm not gonna lie, my Titanics are kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to unequip all these because there's just so many and they're just way too big. Okay, that's a lot better. So I don't see any of my pets. I don't know why that's not a setting. But we got a ship over here. Maybe a diver's by the ship. But I don't really see anything here because once I go up, it's kind of the end of the map. So this is the highest I could go. And I can't find anything about a diver. I'm looking in here and go up. This just takes me to the other side of the area, which isn't really anything because, I mean, a diver still has to be underwater. I mean, from all four clues, I'm hoping just to find at least one number for it to prove that what he's saying is real. Here's Atlantis where it makes sense when he said, roaming where fish and corals have grown. It makes sense that it would be here because this is where the fishes are roaming and where there's a lot of corals that are grown so if that's true then i gotta find some underwater drone that's here so i'm guessing i need to find some type of submarine here but i literally don't see anything that looks like a submarine from all four clues i literally can't find anything that would help this make sense like i can't find some submarine drone or anything close to it or anything that just makes sense for all four clues 
Like saying a tag placed by researchers, divers LED lights, count the beams that cut through the lights. N none of this really makes sense from what I'm seeing. The next best way for me to figure this out would probably be to DM some people that were early on this. Like this guy said, yo, bet. Thank you, lol. No way. Then he said, got you, lol. Don't share it though. I'm guessing this is one of his friends because not gonna lie, this kind of does sound very chat GPT. But let me try DMing this dude here and see what he knows. I sent him a friend request message messaged him and also pinged him i also got coilless here i'm gonna go send him this image and say do we have any hints for this secret code it's driving me insane and hopefully he gives us a reply too there's also so many people saying that they apparently redeemed the code and for example this person here said that they redeemed the code same type of image and then they showed a shop board and some exclusive board congrats you found the code to my shop and only four exists i mean we could easily check the pet index for that right over here we have an index and this index has every type of index like enchant hoverboards and booths and in this hoverboard index i don't see anything that says shop hoverboard i mean it could very easily be some secret hoverboard that's not going to be said in the index and it'll only pop up when you redeem the code if it's true there's also a lot of other secrets in pet summer 99 like the stairway to heaven and i'm gonna show you one of the methods to go there this method requires vip there's many others i'll show you this first one in the vip area is gonna walk over here to this rock and you're gonna see a little hole and all you gotta do is just jump down over here and it'll make you fall off the map and then teleport you to the stairway to heaven so this other way is in the jungle obby this is a free-to-play way if you don't know where it's located it's located in the jungle temple area 18 and i know finding a lot of stuff with all 50 areas is pretty difficult Here's a list of everything in every area organized from vending machines, mini games, free rewards, other machines, and merchants. You guys can pause the video, take a screenshot, whatever you guys want, and it can help you out. Anyway, for this, you're gonna have to go in the jungle lobby, and you're gonna have to do something at the same time. So, just walk over here, you're gonna go die, and click this home button at the same time. So, I'm gonna jump in, the second I die, click the home button, and what it will do is glitch you out the map make you fall off the map and then teleport you to the stairway to heaven there's a lot of ways to do this and i just showed you two ways from the hundreds of ways there probably are and if you guys are wondering what happens when you climb up these stairs well i know people that have done this for hours and by hours i mean five hours and maybe even more and while you're walking up these stairs there's actually some messages that pop up randomly so once you start climbing for a bit it says I wonder if there is anything at the top and there's just random other messages that'll come up as you do this for hours. I have free cam so I could literally just cheat my way all the way to the top. All these stairs as you guys see and there is actually an end believe it or not. So here it is over here. It honestly didn't even take me that long to get up here and you guys might be wondering well if it didn't take you that long how was I climbing it for like 10 hours? Well this is the end it looks like and my guess is that it just constantly generates more and more as you reach up here. So what's this really for? And is there really an end? Or is there some secret behind this? No one knows. And if you guys think you know, and if you think you made it to the end, comment down below. I had some thoughts of maybe it could be a secret in Pet Simulator X that you find and then transfer it over to Pet Simulator 99 by typing in the code there. And I was looking at the haunted area, but I haven't seen anything new like the Rip Pet Sim too and everything it's all still the same i haven't found anything in pet sim x maybe it's something i'm missing like all these other easter eggs that are in pet sim x and the same easter eggs are in pet simulator 99 or maybe simply the code just isn't redeemable yet and we're just gonna have to wait till future updates I also just want to show you guys how OP this Titanic team is. Just take a look at this. This is without any boost on how fast I complete this. Absolutely insane. When I get all my potions over here, like damage potion and all these other things here, I do it so fast. And there's even some items I could put too, like a haste flag so then the pets attack a lot faster. And this is the last area where everything's very hard. And look how fast I'm doing this. I don't even have my full potential 
potential boosts. Like, I could get more of these apples for more damage, more bananas for more coins, and it just keeps going on and on about getting your boosts higher and higher. And just from this stuff that I showed you guys, I'm doing it even faster. Mainly, that's because of my Titanic pets. And another reason is because of my very OP enchants that I have here. They're all exotic pet enchants, and I have my entire inventory full of these maxed out. So these enchants are actually very OP. You guys gotta tune into my next video on my main channel on how I did that. And if you're wondering how I got all these Titanics, I got it from R. Winrox. As you guys know, he's the top pet simulator X player and probably the richest. And he actually let me use all these pets. I even have two Titanic codes I can redeem for myself. I'm in this private server with my clan right now. And I can't show you guys this code, so I'm gonna skip to the part when I redeem it. So this is the first code right here. Let's see this Titanic. Come on, give me a rainbow. Give me a shiny or something. Let's see, boys. Come on. I just got some uh, hoverboards and stuff. That's pretty sick. Yo, yo, it's hatching like crazy. And there we go. Exclusive Titanic tie I can't W. Not a rainbow or shiny, though. That kind of sucks. GG's. I got one more, guys. Don't worry. I got one more. So this is my second code. And now here's the second Titanic right here. Boom. There we go. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Let's see what this one gives us, guys. It's another Titanic. And it's opening up. Is it going to be a rainbow? Let's see. Boom. Exclusive Titanic. Lucky. Let's go. So yeah, there's two Titanics right there already. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> in case you guys are wondering what are the serial numbers, 1,066 is insane. And 860. So if you guys don't know, our clan is actually doing very well on the top leaderboards. And there's this clan here that's called the Fox Clan that's catching up to us. The owner of that clan is Night Fox. So Coilus, aka Josh, aka admin of the game, actually got number one on leaderboard. And Night Fox said, lol, it's never gonna hit the same when devs get number one. You both have infinite cheat codes. GG though. So then Lied You said, I have no cheat codes. Same with Josh because Lied You is actually a tester and Josh is the community manager. And then I replied saying, Cat Power. And then after that, Lied You said, Bro underestimates the Cat Clan. And then Nightbox replies saying, Game on. Then you already know what that means. That means war. And he said, Wait till I get back home. So you know what that means, guys. We can't let Nightbox beat the cat clan so i'm gonna have to buy a lot of gems so here's a cat clan discord and i'm gonna say guys quick pick a number one through five they said three uh guys a higher number would be better stop choosing one don't choose one trust me you don't want to choose one they said 4.9 all right five okay that works okay there we go five all right, so that means we're gonna buy the super diamond pack five times. So that's one. And let's get two. I'm opening a lot of these diamond eggs as well. So hopefully I can get at least a huge diamond cat. There's two. I'm in the cat clan private server right now. So I'm sure they already know what I'm doing. And here's three. This is already so much Robux, guys. Please like and subscribe. And this is four. Oh, numerous is saying WLID just said fire. Oh, dude, and it just got the bling hoverboard because I spent over 100,000 Robux on this game. All right, last one. All right, another 4,500 Robux. That makes it five. Here we go. Boom. And there it is. Five times about the super diamond pack. Please, is it going to be a huge? Come on, bro. Please be a huge. And no huge. That sucks. So that means I got to go donate 2.5 million to the cat clan. Donate 2.5 M and submit. Donate. Boom. There it goes. And now there I am donating 2.57 million. And that will end off the video. I just want to say again, big shout out to Arwen Rocks, aka T Dom Rocks, for actually lending me all these Titanic pets. Big shout out to him. Here's his YouTube channel. And yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I'm spending a lot of Robux. Like, I already got the Bling Hoverboard. Bye.